welcome back to our third episode of Crossword Puzzle. I'm your host, Kami. Now, I mentioned last week that the theme for today is travel. 오늘의 주제는 바로 여행이에요. Before we move on, let's check the puzzle board and the questions for today. 자, 함께 볼까요? Today's Crossword Puzzle. Across number one. This is an official document that identifies a person and allows them to leave and come back to a country. Down number one. For this question, we're going to take a look at a self-interview by a foreigner living in Korea. Listen carefully and try to find the answer to the question. Hi, I'm Steve Hatherly. I'm the host of EBS FM's Morning Special. So just like you, I like traveling. And whenever I travel, I also buy gifts for my friends or my family. So I have a question for you. What do you call something that is kept as a reminder of the place that you have visited? Difficult question? Well, that's my question. Across number two. This is not a one-way trip, but a trip to a given place and back again. We call it... Trip. Down number two. Listen carefully to the lyrics of this flash animation and try to find the answer that completes the blank. Across number three. This is a place typically located in the country or along a highway where travelers can get lodging, food, and drinks. Down number three. Of the six words, which word means to make a brief stop in the course of a journey? Five, four, three, two, one. Down number four. What do you call it when you enter a ship or a plane? Across number four. Listen to each step in English and try to figure out the answer. Number one. We use mostly paper for this. Number two. This is a title of a Maroon 5 song. Number three. This will remind you of Kim Jong-ho. Number four. On this, Korea is shaped like a tiger. Number five. When you're lost, people look at this. Question. What is this? Now that we took a brief look at the questions, 첫 번째 문제 한번 풀어볼까요? 
Go go go! The first question is across number one. 총 여덟 개 알파벳으로 구성된 영어 단어입니다. Our first question for today is across number one. Listen carefully. I'm going to read the question. 잘 들어보세요. This is an official document that identifies a person and allows them to leave and come back to a country. 자, 조금 어렵죠? Let's take a closer look at the question. This is an official document. Official document 공문서죠? That identifies a person. 신분 확인을 하다. Identifies a person. And allows them to leave and come back to a country. 자, 이렇게 문제를 봤는데요. For those of you that don't know the answer, I'm going to give you three hints. 세 가지의 사진을 통해서 힌트를 드릴게요. The first picture, as you can see, is a little girl with something in her hand. 손에 뭘 쥐고 있죠? Second is a man at the airport and he's also holding something in his hand. Now last hint is, as you can see, it's a book but with a lot of stamps in this book. 자, 그러면 this is an official document that identifies a person and allows them to leave and come back to a country. 그러면 정답이 뭔지 한번 퍼즐판을 통해 across number one을 확인해 볼게요. The answer is passport. 여권이었습니다. 그럼 다음 문제는 down 1번 S S가 포함된 알파벳 8개로 이루어진 영어 단어입니다. Now for down number 1. This is a selfie interview question. So we have Steve from Morning Special at EBS FM Radio with a selfie interview and a question. Selfie interview를 통해서 문제를 다잘 들어보시고 정답을 한번 맞춰보세요. Hi, I'm Steve Hatherly. I'm the host of EBS FM's Morning Special. So just like you, I like traveling. And whenever I travel, I also buy gifts for my friends or my family. So I have a question for you. What do you call something that is kept as a reminder of the place that you have visited? Difficult question? Well, that's my question. Thank you, Steve, for that wonderful selfie interview. 자, 인터뷰를 통해서 문제를 냈는데요. 한번 정답이 뭔지 좀 맞춰보셨나요? 좀 힘들었죠? Let's take a closer look at the question. What do you call something that is kept as a reminder of a place that you have visited? 자, in Korean, we call it 기념품. 기념품을 영어 단어로 뭔지 뭘까요? 자, 그러면 down number one의 정답을 퍼즐판을 통해서 한번 확인해 볼게요. Let's check it out. <목소리> 네, 정답은 souvenir였습니다. 좀 발음하기 어렵죠? 한번 따라해 보세요. Souvenir. 네, 다음은 across 2번. U. U가 들어가는 다섯 개 알파벳으로 이루어진 영어 단어입니다. 다음 문제는 across 2번인데 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 letters. There are 5 letters in the answer. 자, 그럼 문제를 낼 건데요. 잘 들어보세요. This is not a one-way trip, but a trip to a given place and back again. We call it blank trip. Let's take a closer look at the question. This is not a one-way trip. 편도가 아니에요. But a trip to a given place and back again. We call it blank trip. 자, 빈칸에 들어가는 단어가 바로 왕복인데요. What is 왕복 in English? 자, 아직 모르겠, 정답을 모르시는 분들을 위해서 I'm going to give you a spelling hint. I'm going to give you five letters but in random order. And you have to try and figure out the answer. 자, U-R-D-O-N. 아, 좀 어려워요. 막, they're in random order. So try to fix the order and see what the answer is. So 편도가 아닌 왕복은 영어로 뭘까요? 네, round이에요. 정답이 바로 R-O-U-N-D, round. 자, 그러면 across 2번 정답, round를 퍼즐판에 한번 넣어볼게요. 네, 정답은 다시 한번 
round였습니다. 그럼 다음 문제는 down 2번. 총 6개 알파벳으로 이루어진 영어 단어 문제입니다. Now the next question is down number 2. We're going to take a look at a picture of a very famous tourist attraction that's located in Europe. 그럼 사진을 통해서 한번 볼게요. Blank eye or Millennium Wheel. So this is a very famous tourist attraction that's located in Europe. 자, blank가 blank에 들어가는 단어가 뭔지 아직 모르겠는 분들을 위해서 I'm going to show you a flash animation. Flash animation을 통해서 빈칸에 들어갈 단어를 한번 맞춰보세요. Do you think you know the name of the city that belongs in the blank? 자 그러면 도시의 이름이 뭔지 한번 확인해 볼게요. London. Now the London Eye, aka the Millennium Wheel, is located in the south bank of the River Thames, located in London. 자 그러면 이번 동요의 제목은 London Bridge였는데요. London이 들어가는 단어 London Bridge를 한번 다시 들어볼게요. Alright, the answer for down number two is London. Let's put it into the puzzle. 네, 정답은 다시 한 번. London이었습니다. The next question is across number three. I. I가 들어간 총세개 알파벳으로 이루어진 영어 단어입니다. 다음 문제는 across 3번인데요. As you can see, the answer consists of three letters. 그럼 제가 문제를 읽을 텐데요. 잘 들어보세요. This is a place typically located in the country or along a highway where travelers can get lodging, food, and drinks. 자, 정답이 뭔지 좀 맞추기가 힘들어요. Let's take a closer look at the question. This is a place, 어떤 장소예요. Typically located in the country. 자, 여기서 country가 나라가 아닌 어, 시골이라는 뜻이에요. Or along a highway where travelers can get lodging, food, and drinks. Lodging은 이제 숙소, 뭐 임시 숙소라는 뜻인데요. 자, 여기서 어떤 장소, 또 어, 여행자들이 이제 숙소, 임시 숙소를 갈수 있는 곳인 것 같은데요. Do you know the answer? 한번 across 3번의 정답을 퍼즐판을 통해서 확인해 볼게요. 네, 정답은 바로 in 이었습니다. I-N-N, in. 보통 시골 지역에서 숙박이 가능한 곳을 말하죠. Next up is down number three. T. T가 포함된 여덟 개 알파벳으로 이루어진 영어 단어 문제입니다. Now for question down number three. I'm going to give you six words. Now of the six words, find the word that means to make a brief stop in the course of a journey. A brief stop in the course of a journey. 자 그러면 여섯 개의 단어들을 제시될 텐데요. 5초를 드리겠습니다. 거기서 정답을 한번 맞춰보세요. Let's go ahead and try to find the answer. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Okay, your five seconds are up. 자, 거기서 여섯 개의 단어들 중에 경유지라는 뜻의 단어가 뭔지 한번 찾아보셨나요? Now before we do, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the six words with a picture. 자, 첫 번째는 steerage, 3등 선실인데요. We call it, um, it's usually the lower deck of a ship. Skytrain, 공중열차. Vancouver Skytrain도 있죠? Suitcase is 여행가방. 
Security, 보안 또는 경비고요. Schedule, 일정인데요. 뭐 Monday to Saturday 또 일정이 생길 수도 있죠. The answer is stopover. 경유지가 바로 stopover인데요. 두 지점 사이에 잠시 단기 체류를 하는 거예요. So it's basically making a brief stop in the course of a journey. 그래서 경유지는 바로 stopover였는데요. 자 그러면 down 3번의 정답은 stopover. Let's put it into the puzzle. The answer was stopover. The next question is down number four. 총 다섯 개 알파벳으로 이루어진 영어 단어 문제입니다. Now for down number four, the answer consists of five letters. 문제를 드릴 건데요. 잘 들어보세요. What do you call it when you enter a ship or plane? Let's take a closer look. What do you call it when you enter a ship or plane? 자, 비행기 또는 배를 탑승할 때 영어로 뭐라고 할까요? So for those of you who don't know the answer, 제가 사진 속에서 힌트를 하나 드릴 거예요. I'm going to give you a hint. Let's take a look at the picture. 자, 여기서 지금 사람들이 뭐하고 있을까요? What are the people doing right now? 자, 그러면 여기서 자, 그러면 down 4번의 정답이 뭔지 한번 퍼즐판을 통해서 한번 볼게요. Let's check out the answer. 정답은 board이었습니다. 비행기나 배에 탑승하는 것을 뜻하는 단어죠. 그럼 다음은 오늘의 마지막 문제 across 4번 A A가 포함된 알파벳 3개 영어 단어입니다. Last but not least is our final question for today. 벌써 오늘의 마지막 문제인데요. It's across number four. 자, 여기서 제가 다섯 가지의 힌트를 드릴 건데요. What, 무엇인지를 정답을 한번 맞춰보는 거예요. So listen carefully to the five hints and try to find the answer. 그러면 잘 들어보세요. Listen to each step in English and try to figure out the answer. Number one, we use mostly paper for this. Number two, this is a title of a Maroon 5 song. Number three, this will remind you of Kim Jong-ho. Number four, on this, Korea is shaped like a tiger. Number five, when you're lost, people look at this. Question. What is this? What is this? 네, 정답이 뭔지 알것 같나요? 자, 정답을 보여주기 전에 한번 힌트를 다시 한번 검토해 볼게요. Number one. We use mostly paper for this. 자, 보통 종이로 나오죠? Number two, this is the title of a Maroon 5 song. I really like Maroon 5. Number three, this will remind you of Kim Jong-ho. 자, 이걸 떠오르면 바로 Kim Jong-ho가 떠올리죠? Number four, on this, Korea is shaped like a tiger. 자, 이것에는 한국이 호랑이 모양으로 나와요. Last hint, when you're lost, people look at this. 자, 길을 잃을 때. 보통 사람들이 이걸 본다라는 힌트인데요. 자, what is this? 정답을 알것 같죠, 이제? 확인해 볼게요. map이었어요. 자, cross 4번의 정답은 map. Let's put it into the puzzle. The answer for a cross number 4 is map. 자, 그러면 완성된 사진을 한번 볼게요. Let's take a look at the completed picture. Now that we've completed the puzzle, we can see a beautiful picture of the Eiffel Tower located in Paris, France. Oh, 이런 노래가 떠올리는데요. Oh, Champs Elysees. 네, 바로 샹송이죠. 아, 진짜 지금이라도 바로 유럽으로 떠나고 싶어요. 자, 그러면 오늘 퍼즐은 여기까지. 
다음에는 더 재밌는 퍼즐판을 한번 풀어볼게요. Have a great weekend and see you next week. Bye everyone!